most of us grew up knowing my next guest as the son of two of the greatest names in country music, Johnny and June Carter Cash. Now he's an award-winning producer, author, and singer-songwriter in his own right. And he's involved in a fantastic new documentary coming to theaters December 5th, 6th, and 7th. It's called Johnny Cash, The Redemption of an American Icon. It is such an honor to welcome back to the show, John Carter Cash. Great to have you back. Man, I am honored to be here. Thank you for having me, Governor. You know, I'm glad to be here. I, I can't even imagine how difficult it is to be the son of two of the most famous people in the music industry and two of the most beloved people in the music industry. Yeah, you know, um, my parents, they really never lost their upbringing. They mm. stayed close to home and close to the heart. Of course, they had faith uh, and they stayed close to that also. But it made it that much easier um, you know, to not feel elated or apart from because they considered the world their family, I think. Well, and they were always just giving that sense of graciousness and kindness and love for their fans. Yes, sir. But was it hard for you growing up and everywhere you went, you know, oh, I want to get your dad's autograph. Oh, I want to see your mom. That has to be a pressure. Well, um, my father had a separation, I think, between uh, uh, stardom and uh, uh, the cash image and, um, and then who he was at home. And, and uh, my mother did also, and, but they were genuine, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, but yeah, I mean, there were times, I think, that I struggled to try to figure out who I was and where I was headed and, and you know, whether I wanted to be like my father or do something of my own independently. Um, but I've always loved music, and so that's, it's led me to music uh, along the path, and I'm grateful to be where I am. It would almost be insane if you didn't have some connection to music. People would say you denied your genetics. <laughs> I mean, you, Yeah, well, you know, I, I produce uh, music. I do a lot of production, but I've actually worked with Loretta Lynn uh, in the latter part of her life. I worked more with Loretta uh, than I have any other artist in my life. And I, I produce music videos, also direct, and so I do a lot of different things. When you had Thanksgiving at the Cash home, mm -hmm. what, what, was it normal? Was there a normal kind of Thanksgiving for you guys? Or did, did it, it resemble something different? Yeah, it was family, you know? Um, uh, you know, I mean, uh, there were plenty of quote unquote stars that were my father's friends. Yeah. They were always around. And, um, you know, it, was, it wasn't unusual uh, to be in the, you know, to be at a, at a table with Christopherson or, or Bono from U2. You just didn't know uh, what would be next one day to the, ne uh, the other. But um, for one thing, it helped me uh, to separate uh, the fact that, uh, uh, you know, no matter where we put somebody on a pedestal, we're all the same. We still wake up in the morning, put on our britches and look in the mirror and say, oh, I can do this. I know some people that don't even put on their britches anymore. <laughs> they, it's, a, it's a whole new world I, out there, John Carter. I mean, it's just... Sit down, right? <laughs> the documentary film that uh, yes. comes out December 5th, 6th, and 7th, mm -hmm. theaters across the country. Yeah. Tell us about this. Well, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of great documentaries out there to know my father. Um, but if it comes back around to uh, what's the story that he wanted told? Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, if he were here today, what would he choose? And that would be one that focused on his spirituality. Mm. Um, you know, my father, um, he was religious by nature. and He, he studied uh, the scriptures. Um, he, he was an ordained minister. He had an honorary doctorate that was well-earned, actually. Mm. Um, I've got hundreds of pages that he wrote, you know, studying the scriptures. And so this documentary film focuses on his spirituality, and it focuses on uh, uh, his spiritual understanding and um, tries to shed a little light into uh, the, the true nature of, of a simple man that's maybe, uh, uh, you know, he was complicated, there's no doubt, and I think, but uh, the truth is uh, quite simple. He was a man of love and faith, yeah. and so that's easy to see when you watch this movie. And if you really want to know my father, I believe uh, that this documentary specifically is the one to watch. One of the most beloved people ever in the music industry. I think we've got a, a little bit of uh, just yeah, a clip from and the my, film. My Aunt Joanne, uh, she went back to Dias, Arkansas uh, yeah. um, when she filmed uh, this segment uh, where my father and her were raised and, and went back to the home that has been refurbished back to the, its original standing. Um, and, you know, it, it 
she connected, uh, she connects every time that she goes there. Uh, but this gives a little bit of insight into the heart of this film. So, let's watch it. Walking back in this home is so bittersweet for me. There was such love in this house and tears and hard work. Remembering is uh, sweet and it's very heartbreaking. They're very emotional for me. They were given the house and the land and a mule and 40 acres to farm. And in this film, you've got some pretty notable people. Marty Stewart, mm -hmm. Winona Judd are some of the people that are featured talking about your dad mm -hmm. and connecting to him. Greg Laurie, mm -hmm. uh, one of the most prominent pastors in the country, had a special relationship with your dad, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, definitely so. And and dad had and my mother both, they had certain people in their fold that they brought in and considered them to be family, even though they might not have been blood. And uh, most of the people that have that insight that are in this film, Greg included, um, knew my mother and father as family. And and so uh, the insight that they have uh, is distinct and it's purposeful. And um, and I do believe that this uh, that this film is is exactly what my father would uh, would like to share about his life. So many Johnny Cash fans. I don't know of anybody that doesn't love your your dad and your mom as well. What will be the biggest surprise that they will find out about the spirituality and the the testimony, the the connection that Johnny Cash had to God? Well, <clears throat> my father, of course, you know he he struggled a lot, and uh, he my mother you know, passed away uh, before my father did. And I think one thing that stands out about his spirituality to me so much is that he, although he had pain, although he, he lost loved ones that he was close to, um, uh, like unto Job from the Bible, my father never mm -hmm. cursed God and never got angry. And, and he, he, truly, uh, he truly had a great understanding of the life that we live in and that, you know, we're on a fallen plane and uh, didn't uh, point a finger and say, why did you do this to me? Yeah. Um, and so hopefully people will see the grace that made up who my father was when, the, when they watched this film. I, I think it'll be a wonderful tribute to him. And, and you know, as an Arkansas guy, there There's go. nobody that is yep, more yep. beloved. In fact, yep. he's in Statuary Hall as a mm -hmm. result of being uh, Arkansas's favorite son. Yeah, yeah. Nobody is more beloved than, than Johnny Cash in the state of Arkansas, and rightfully so. Thank you. John Carter, yeah. I hope people will go and see the film December the 5th, 6th, six, and 7th. Seven. Yeah. Johnny Cash, The Redemption of an American Icon, exclusively in theaters that date, December 5, 6, and 7th. If you want to know more about how to get information and tickets for a showing near you, if you go to Huckabee.tv, we have connections directly to the film, and I sure hope you'll get to see it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.